Hello everybody, my name is Kara Bishop. Um, I'm going to be one of your seniors this year. Um, I'm taking my video in my car right now because I have two parents as teachers so they're kind of stuck at home and it's kind of rowdy in my house so um, it's been wild in there. Um, I have a younger sibling, her name's Allison, she's a senior in high school so she can relate to a couple of you with uh, not really having a soccer season. She's really bummed about that. They were going to have a really great season. Um, so she has decided to go to Lake Michigan Community College to play there for two years. And then maybe I'll try to convince her to come to Siena once because I'll be gone. So I think that's why she doesn't want to come because I'm there. But um, she doesn't want to be with Big Sister. But um, I'm a special education elementary ed major. Um, so that's what I do there. So if any of you... Education majors have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, our faculty and staff's awesome in the education program. I know just all around Siena has good faculty and staff, but um, education's awesome. We all have one big family there, so be excited for that if you're an education major. I know we have a couple in the um, freshman class. Um, so I'm from Allegan, Michigan. It's a small town. Um, on the west side of the state, kind of in between Kalamazoo and Grand Rapids. Um, and what brought me to Siena, so Haley Curtis, who I don't think we've seen her video yet, but you will, she's um, also going to be a senior. She, Her and I are both from Allegan, so uh, we played all three sports, volleyball, basketball, soccer together. So um, she actually went and visited Siena first, and she came back, I remember, to one basketball practice, and she was like, Kara, you have to go. Like, it's awesome. She was able to meet with some of the girls, so um, she was like, it's just such a great environment there and just a great program to be a part of. So I was like, all right, I'll go check it out. So my grandparents live over in Jackson, which is about 30 minutes from Siena, and um so for Thanksgiving, one Thanksgiving, I was like, let's just <clears throat> go check Siena out, and uh, Scooter met with us. So no one was on campus, but still, like, I just got that feel, even with no one on campus, that, like, I can tell, like, there's love. Oh, no! So sorry. I can tell that there's love um, on this campus, just, like, everyone gets to know each other, and everyone just really supports each other, and just is somewhere that you go and you just want to go back to once you've graduated, once you become an alumni. And you really see that during homecoming, like all the the alumni that come back and just love the place. It's just another home that you get to call for four years, but it's just an extended home throughout your time and your life. Um, so some things that I bulleted that I want to talk about um, is something that my basketball coach used to say all the time in, in high school. Uh, is just to focus on the task at hand. So that's one of my goals for this upcoming year um, and this upcoming season because it is my last season. And I know as a senior you do have to kind of think ahead and think towards the future um, with it being your last season. But I want to just like remember to focus on the task at hand, focus on each practice and go practice by practice and game by game. And just knowing that like this is the last go around and so it's time to go and we gotta we gotta get to it um, another thing so in the past is kind of stuck um, is uh, maybe sophomore year my little tagline was go crazy and so that's kind of stuck with me and um, that's just like when you think you're tired and you put it in the next gear and you just go crazy you got to go off and I think about like in the two-sided goal game when us goalkeepers oh by the way I'm a goalkeeper I didn't say that either <laughs> and I'm also one of the captains returning captain I was captain last year and so this senior year I'll also be a captain so let me know if you need anything um but so just two-sided goal game I think of us goalkeepers just trying to go crazy when we when we're able to go around and try to score so um and just in everything just going crazy with everything kind of have to be a little crazy to be a goalkeeper so it might be a little fitting um so this year I want to change it to ape crazy uh because you know the saying like ape crazy um and I just want to just go all out being the last year and being being the final final uh, season that I'll ever get to play I've been playing soccer since you could play soccer so it's always been a big part of my life um, and I used to play travel ball 
um, out of playing well for force, and then Haley and I were, became part of ASA, the Allegan Soccer Academy, so um, we both played on that team. And so, yeah, ape crazy, that's what I'm going with this year because we all are just going to go ape crazy. Alrighty. Um, uh, another thing that's been really uh, common or just a thought that I've had a lot this past season and even just now, um, and especially when I talk to my sister about transitioning into college, um, is I'm very religious, so um, God loves it when you're uncomfortable. So I found that out a lot this year. Um, I took a lot of leadership roles in like different organizations on campus. Um, so I have two of them are like religious roles, and I actually just got um, the president position for the SALT, uh, I guess, club that we have at Siena. It's the student athletic leadership team. So I'll be in, um, leading that. And so in those are situations, especially your freshman year, that like you're uncomfortable a lot of the time, especially like freshman orientation. It's just all new things, and a lot of people don't like the new and the changes in their life um but just taking that in with open arms and just kind of just branching out and not being afraid to do things i remember freshman year i am a outgoing and talkative person so i did like to get to know people freshman year and uh, become part of new things um compel and dya are two groups that i um kind of became a part of uh, my freshman year and that just opens doors like your freshman year is really where you begin to open doors to other other options and opportunities in life and just in life and and on campus at Siena and it just really allows you to grow as an individual and as a person and college is a lot about finding like who you are um I could say my class, all of us have changed so much since freshman year. So personally, soccer wise, confidence wise, um, and just like just who we are all around as a person. And I think Sienna does a great job focusing on that. And so does Scooter and the rest of our um, coaching staff. They just, they want us to be the best soccer players we can, but they also want us to be the best people that we can be. So that they really like, that, that's a big focus on their part, so I think that's another factor that makes um, Siena Heights just a great place to be, um, and just our soccer program as a whole. Um, so another part that I have um, is just nothing's promised, and I think we all have realized that, especially with this quarantine, um, that season's not promised. Uh, WAC just did just come out with like a statement saying that they do plan on having our seasons. So that was exciting. That was relieving to see. Um, but nothing's promised. So a lot of people say like, play every game like it's your last. Go to every practice like it's your last. Like I haven't had a huge injury that's really um, affected much of me. Uh, freshman year, uh, welcome week, I we, we were doing like, me and Aaron Scheidel were jumping on um, this thing that has an arm that goes and like, it's like a bouncy thing and it has an arm that tries to wipe you out. And I sprained my MCL doing that. I remember I was so scared to tell Scooter. I was like, couldn't walk after, like I'm hobbling after. I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm gonna walk it out. The next day, I like couldn't sleep because of it. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to tell Scooter. I can't even kick a ball right now, let alone jump in the air and try to save balls and from him in the back of the net so that was just that was scary but he he knows what goes on he I remember him saying like that's life like you can't really control that so um I was only out for a couple days for that because it was just a sprain and those those uh don't take too long to heal but yeah just nothing's promised and I think we all understand that now so all right I'm like nine minutes 30 seconds um so a team burst I just want to finish out um I am very religious, so I usually bring in a lot of uh, verses to it. And uh, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 12 through 14. And it says, um, The body of Christ, or the people that are the whole humanity, are a team. The body is not supported by one person, but all of us. We are all one. We are strongest working together in unity. Teamwork is the key to living in harmony so that we can do God's will. 
Um, so I just want to leave you with that. And I'm excited to be back on campus. I really did not want to leave school. Like I used to want to, can't wait to go home. Like, no, I just can't wait to be back at school with all my friends and my best friends and my family there. So I miss you guys. Um, I can't wait to get to know all of you and, um, hope you have a good summer and are working hard. Keep working out. It'll make preseason easier if we just keep working out. And it'll keep Scooter happier. <laughs> so um, I love you all and can't wait to see you. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe.